I lost my parents when I was 17 and I had to bring up uh, two 11 year old children so at 17 I was the man of the house. I emigrated to Rhodesia. 1950, got my family out there, and then I managed to start racing in 1953. Uh, I had a motorcycle business in partnership with John Love, who everybody here knows well as nine-time South African car driver. John and I had a business in Bulawayo, and in 1957 I sold out to John and took the money and invested it in a trip overseas and two new Magnus Nortons and I went as a gypsy with my bikes and a van around Europe and uh, we used to live for the day, you know, we'd make enough money on a good day, we'd go and have a steak. We made no money, we go back to a can of beans. The TT is uh, the, the mecca of, of racing and I rode there for three or four years and then I got a ride with Honda in 1962 and I proceeded to win the TT twice in the 250 class and four times in the 350 class. For about 40 years I was in the Guinness Book of Records as the most successful TT rider ever. This is a Kawasaki GPZ 1100. Uh, it got the got a ZX motor in it, so it's the hot motor from the era. It's got 17 inch wheels, it's got four part calipers, uh, obviously yeah, this brakes front and rear. Look, there's a lot of mods done to it, but the standard bike handles really well, goes really well. Look, I've had a lot of time doing setup. We, we've done a lot of practice, we've spent a lot of time doing setup in the bike. The bike's tuned in really well. We are struggling with the carburetors a little bit, just with some tuning, but uh, otherwise she, she's a beauty to ride, she goes really well. There's no money at all, it's just we just ride for the fun. Every time you get on it's the same, you know, it's, uh, you always have a bit of butterflies in the stomach and in the old days we used to say butterflies on a good day but seagulls on a bad day. You know, it's not about the money, um, you know what I mean, it's what we look for, it's the need for speed really. I spend about uh, eight months of the year in Europe doing about 25 events like this and I come back to Africa where it's home and I'm here from I'm here from November through to the end of February. You're going through the corner, you're hanging off the bike, you get your knee down, it's sliding on the floor, it's nothing else feels quite like it. You, you, you feel alive, you feel on the edge. You could bring your normal street bike, you can kit it out with race tires, do one of the things to it, it's not very expensive, you can come and race with us. It's just the, the craving to want to go fast, to want to race other people, to want to prove that you're the best. You know, push yourself to the limit, see you know, who can ride with you, who you can take on. 